In ancient Rome, a province Latin, provincia, place. Provinciae was the basic and, until the Tetrarchy from 293 AD, the largest territorial and administrative unit of the empire's territorial possessions outside Italy. The word province in modern English has its origins in the Latin term used by the Romans. Provinces were generally governed by politicians of senatorial rank, usually former consuls or former praetors. A later exception was the province of Egypt, incorporated by Augustus after the death of Cleopatra. It was ruled by a governor of only equestrian rank, perhaps as a discouragement to senatorial ambition. This exception was unique, but not contrary to Roman law, as Egypt was considered Augustus' personal property, following the tradition of the kings of the earlier Hellenistic period. The Latin term provincia also had a more general meaning of jurisdiction. Topic. Republican provinces The Latin word provincia originally meant any task or set of responsibilities assigned by the Roman Senate to an individual who held imperium, right of command, which was often a military command within a specified theater of operations. Under the Roman Republic, the magistrates were elected to office for a period of one year, and those serving outside the city of Rome, such as consuls acting as generals on a military campaign, were assigned a particular provincia, the scope of authority within which they exercised their command. The territory of a people who were defeated in war might be brought under various forms of treaty, in some cases entailing complete subjection the formal annexation of a territory created a province, in the modern sense of an administrative unit that is geographically defined. Republican period provinces were administered in one-year terms by the consuls and praetors who had held office the previous year and who were invested with imperium. Rome started expanding beyond Italy during the First Punic War. The first permanent provinces to be annexed were Sicily Sicilia in 241 BC and Sardinia Corsica et Sardinia in 237 BC. Militarized expansionism kept increasing the number of these administrative provinces, until there were no longer enough qualified individuals to fill the posts. The terms of provincial governors often had to be extended for multiple years, prorogatio, and on occasion the Senate awarded imperium even to private citizens, privati, most notably Pompey the Great. Prorogation undermined the republican constitutional principle of annual elected magistracies, and the amassing of disproportionate wealth and military power by a few men through their provincial commands was a major factor in the transition from a republic to imperial autocracy. <laughs> List of republican provinces 241 BC, Sicilia Sicily taken over from the Carthaginians and annexed at the end of the First Punic War. 237 BC, Corsica at Sardinia, these two islands were taken over from the Carthaginians and annexed soon after the Mercenary War, in 238 BC and 237 BC respectively. 197 BC, Hispania Siderior, along the east coast of the Iberian Peninsula, part of the territories taken over from the Carthaginians. 197 BC, Hispania Ulterior, along the southern coast of the Iberian Peninsula, part of the territories taken over from the Carthaginians in the Second Punic War. 147 BC, Macedonia in mainland Greece. It was annexed after a rebellion by the Achaean League. 146 BC, Africa modern-day Tunisia and western Libya home territory of Carthage, annexed after the destruction of Carthage in the Third Punic War. 129 BC, Asia, formerly the Kingdom of Pergamon in western Anatolia modern Turkey by its last king, Attalus III, in 133 BC. 120 BC, Gallia Narbonensis southern France, prior to its annexation it was called Gallia Transalpina Gallia on the other side of the Alps to distinguish it from Gallia Cisalpina Gaul on this same side of the Alps, in northern Italy. It was annexed following attacks on the allied Greek city of Massalia Marseille. 67 BC, Creta et Cyrenae, Cyrenaica was bequeathed to Rome in 78 BC. However, it was not organized as a province. It was incorporated into the province of Creta et Cyrenae when Crete was annexed in 67 BC. 63 BC, Pontus et Bithynia, the Kingdom of Bithynia in northwestern Anatolia, Turkey was bequeathed to Rome by its last king, Nicomedes IV in 74 BC. 
It was organized as a Roman province at the end of the Third Mithridatic War 73 BC by Pompey, who incorporated the eastern part of the defeated kingdom of Pontus into it in 63 BC. 63 BC – Syria – Pompey annexed Syria at the end of the Third Mithridatic War. 58 BC – Cilicia at Cyprus – Cilicia was created as a province in the sense of area of military command in 102 BC in a campaign against piracy. The Romans controlled only a small area. In 74 BC Lycia and Pamphylia to the east were added to the small Roman possessions in Cilicia. Cilicia came fully under Roman control towards the end of the Third Mithridatic War 73–63 BC. The province was reorganized by Pompey in 63 BC. Cyprus was annexed and added to this province in 58 BC. 46 BC – Africa Nova Eastern Numidia, Algeria, Julius Caesar annexed eastern Numidia and the new province called Africa Nova new Africa to distinguish it from the older province of Africa, which become known as Africa Vetus old Africa. Gallia Cisalpina in northern Italy was a province in the sense of an area of military command, but was never a province in the sense of an administrative unit. During Rome's expansion in the Italian peninsula, the Romans assigned some areas as provinces in the sense of areas of military command assigned to consuls or praetors not proconsuls or praetors as in the case of administrative provinces due to risks of rebellions or invasions. This was applied to Liguria because there was a series of rebellions, Brutium and II Calabria because of perceived risks of rebellion. In the early days of the Roman presence in Gallia Cisalpina, the issue was rebellion. Later, the issue was risk of invasions by warlike peoples east of Italy. The city of Achilleia was founded to protect northern Italy from invasions. Gaius Julius Caesar granted the inhabitants of this region Roman citizenship and incorporated the region into Italy. Topic: <laughs> Imperial provinces during the Principate. In the so-called Augustan settlement of 27 BC which established the Roman Empire, the governance of the provinces was regulated. Gaius Julius Caesar Octavianus, having emerged from the Roman civil wars as the undisputed victor and master of the Roman state, officially laid down his powers, and in theory restored the authority of the Roman Senate. Octavian himself assumed the title, Augustus and was given to govern, in addition to Egypt, the strategically important provinces of Gaul, Hispania and Syria including Cilicia and Cyprus. Under Augustus, Roman provinces were classified as either public or imperial, meaning that their governors were appointed by either the Senate or by the Emperor. Generally, the older provinces that existed under the Republic were public. Public provinces were, as before under the Republic, governed by a proconsul, who was chosen by lot among the ranks of senators who were ex-consuls or ex-praetors, depending on the province assigned. The major imperial provinces were under a legatus Augusti pro praetor, also a senator of consular or praetorian rank. Egypt and some smaller provinces where no legions were based were ruled by a procurator, prefectus in Egypt, whom the emperor selected from non-senators of equestrian rank. The status of a province could change from time to time. In AD 68, of a total 36 provinces, 11 were public and 25 imperial. Of the latter, 15 were under legati and 10 under procurators or prefecti. During the Principate, the number and size of provinces also changed, either through conquest or through the division of existing provinces. The larger or more heavily garrisoned provinces for example Syria and Mosia were subdivided into smaller provinces to prevent any single governor from holding too much power. Topic: <laughs> List of provinces created during the Principate. 30 BC Egyptus taken over by Augustus after his defeat of Mark Antony and Cleopatra the 7th of Egypt in 30 BC. It was the first imperial province in that it was Augustus' own domain as the Egyptians recognized him as their new pharaoh. Its proper initial name was Alexandria et Egyptus. It was governed by Augustus Prefectus Alexandria et Aegypti. 27 BC, Achaia southern and central Greece, Augustus separated it from Macedonia senatorial preparatorial province. 27 BC, Hispania Terraconensis, former Hispania Siderior northern, central and eastern Spain created with the reorganization of the provinces in Hispania by Augustus imperial proconsular province. 
27 BC, Hispania Baetica, former Hispania Ulterior southern Spain, created with the reorganization of the provinces in Hispania by Augustus senatorial preparatorial province. The name derives from Baetis, the Latin name for the Guadalquivir River. 27 BC, Lusitania Portugal and Extremadura in Spain, created with the reorganization of the provinces in Hispania by Augustus imperial proconsular province. 27 BC, Illyricum, Augustus conquered Illyria and southern Pannonia in 35–33 BC, created as a senatorial province in 27 BC. Northern Pannonia was conquered during the Pannonian War 14 BC. Subdivided into Dalmatia a new name for Illyria and Pannonia, which were officially called Upper and Lower Illyricum respectively in 9 BC, towards the end of the Batonian War. Initially a senatorial province, it became an imperial preparatorial province in 11 BC, during the Pannonian War. It was dissolved and the new provinces of Dalmatia and Pannonia were created during the reign of Vespasian 69 in 107 Pannonia was divided into Pannonia Superior and Pannonia Inferior, imperial provinces proconsular and preparatorial respectively. 27 BC or 16–13 BC, Aquitania southwestern France province created in the territories in Gaul conquered by Julius Caesar, there is uncertainty as to whether it was created with Augustus' first visit and the first census on Gaul or during Augustus' visit in 16–13 imperial proconsular province. 27 BC or 16 to 13 BC Gallia Lugdunensis central and part of northern France province created in the territories in Gaul conquered by Julius Caesar there is uncertainty as to whether it was created with Augustus first visit and the first census on Gaul or during Augustus visit in 16 to 13 imperial proconsular province 27 BC or 16 to 13 BC Gallia Belgica Netherlands south of the Rhine River Belgium Luxembourg part of northern France and Germany west of the Rhine there is uncertainty as to whether it was created with Augustus first visit and the first census on Gaul or during Augustus visit in 16 to 13 imperial proconsular province 25 BC Galatia Central Anatolia Turkey formerly a client kingdom it was annexed by Augustus when Amyntas its last king died imperial preparatorial province 15 BC Raetia imperial procuratorial province 12 BC Germania Magna lost after 3 Roman legions were routed in 9 AD 6 AD, Mosia on the east and south bank of the river Danube part of modern Serbia, the north of the Republic of Macedonia, northern Bulgaria, conquered in 28 BC, originally it was a military district under the province of Macedonia. The first mention of a provincial governor was for 6 AD, at the beginning of the Batonian War. In 85 Mosia was divided into Mosia Superior and Mosia Inferior imperial proconsular provinces, 6 AD, Judea, Imperial Procuratorial Province renamed Syria Palestina by Hadrian, and upgraded to Proconsular Province. 17 AD, Cappadocia, Central Anatolia, Turkey. Imperial Preparatorial later Proconsular Province. 42 AD, Mauritania Tingitana, Northern Morocco, after the death of Ptolemy, the last king of Mauritania in 40 AD his kingdom was annexed. It was begun by Caligula and was completed by Claudius with the defeat of the rebels. In 42 AD, Claudius divided it into two provinces imperial procuratorial province. 42 AD, Mauritania Caesariensis, western and central Algeria, after the death of Ptolemy, the last king of Mauritania in 40 his kingdom was annexed. It was begun by Caligula and was completed by Claudius with the defeat of the rebels. In 42 AD Claudius divided it into two provinces imperial procuratorial province. 41 53 AD, Noricum central Austria, northeastern Slovenia and part of Bavaria, it was incorporated into the empire in 16 BC. It was called a province, but it remained a client kingdom under the control of an imperial procurator. It was turned into a proper province during the reign of Claudius 41 imperial preparatorial province. 43 AD, Britannia. Claudius initiated the invasion of Britannia. Up to 60 AD, the Romans controlled the area south a line from the River Humber to the Severn estuary. Wales was finally subdued in 78. In 78-84 Agricola conquered the north of England and Scotland. Scotland was then abandoned Imperial Proconsular Province. 
In 197 Septimius Severus divided Britannia into Britannia Superior and Britannia Inferior. Imperial provinces proconsular and preparatorial respectively. 46 AD, Thracia Thrace, northeastern Greece, southeastern Bulgaria and European Turkey, it was annexed by Claudius imperial procuratorial province. 47 AD, Alps Atrectionae et Poninae between Italy and Switzerland, Augustus subdued its inhabitants, the Selassie, in 15 BC. It was incorporated into Raetia. The date of the creation of the province is uncertain. It is usually set at the date of Claudius' foundation of Forum Claudi Valensium Martini, which became its capital imperial procuratorial province. 63 AD, Alps Maritime on the French Alps, created as a protectorate by Augustus, it probably became a province under Nero when Alps Cotier became a province imperial procuratorial province. 63 AD, Alps Cotier between France and Italy, in 14 BC it became a nominal prefecture which was run by the ruling dynasty of the Coti. It was named after the king Marcus Julius Cotius. It became a province in 63 imperial procuratorial province. 72 AD, Commagene, its client king was deposed and Commagene was annexed to Syria. 74 AD, Lycia et Pamphylia, in 43 AD the emperor Claudius had annexed Lycia. Pamphylia had been a part of the province of Galatia. Vespasian reigned AD 69 to 79 merged Lycia and Pamphylia. 83–84 AD, Germania Superior southern Germany The push into southern Germany up to the Agridicumates by Domitian created the necessity to create this province, which had been a military district in Gallia Belgica when it was restricted to the west bank of the River Rhine Imperial Proconsular Province. 83–84 AD, Germania Inferior Netherlands south of the River Rhine, part of Belgium, and part of Germany west of the Rhine originally a military district under Gallia Belgica, created when Germania Superior was created Imperial Proconsular Province. 106 AD, Arabia, formerly the Kingdom of Nabataea, it was annexed without resistance by Trajan Imperial Preparatorial Province. 107 AD, Dacia, Trahana. The Romanian regions of southeastern Transylvania, the Banat, and Oltenia, conquered by Trajan in his Dacian Wars Imperial Proconsular Province. Divided into Dacia Superior and Dacia Inferior in 158 by Antoninus Pius. Divided into three provinces Trace Dacia in 166 by Marcus Aurelius, Parolacensis, Apollensis and Malvensis Imperial Procuratorial Provinces. Abandoned by Aurelian in 271. 103–114 AD Epirus Nova in western Greece and southern Albania, Epirus was originally under the province of Macedonia. It was placed under Achaia in 27 BC except for its northernmost part, which remained part of Macedonia. It became a separate province under Trajan, sometime between 103 and 114 AD and was renamed Epirus Nova New Epirus Imperial Procuratorial Province. 114 AD, Armenia, annexed by Trajan, who deposed its client king. In 118 Hadrian restored this client kingdom. 116 AD, Mesopotamia Iraq, seized from the Parthians and annexed by Trajan, who invaded the Parthian Empire in late 115. Given back to the Parthians by Hadrian in 118. In 198 Septimius Severus conquered a small area in the north and named it Mesopotamia. It was attacked twice by the Persians Imperial Prefectorial Province. 116 AD, Assyria, Trajan suppressed a revolt by Assyrians in Mesopotamia and created the province. Hadrian relinquished it in 118. 193 AD, Numidia, was separated from Africa Proconsularis by Septimius Severus Imperial Preparatorial Province. 194 AD, Syria Coel and Syria Phoenice, Septimius Severus divided Syria into these two units in the north and the south respectively. Imperial provinces proconsular and preparatorial respectively. 214 AD, Osirhane, this kingdom in northern Mesopotamia, in parts of today's Iraq, Syria and Turkey was annexed. 271 AD, Dacia Aureliana most of Bulgaria and Serbia created by Aurelian in the territory of the former Mosia Superior after his evacuation of Dacia Trahana beyond the river Danube, Epirus in western Greece and southern Albania, it was placed under Achaia in 27 BC except for its northernmost part, which remained part of Macedonia. 
Many of the above provinces were under Roman military control or under the rule of Roman clients for a long time before being officially constituted as civil provinces. Only the date of the official formation of the province is marked above, not the date of conquest. <laughs> Late antiquity Emperor Diocletian introduced a radical reform known as the Tetrarchy 284 with a western and an eastern Augustus or senior emperor, each seconded by a junior emperor and designated successor styled Caesar, and each of these four defending and administering a quarter of the empire. In the 290s, Diocletian divided the empire anew into almost a hundred provinces, including Italy. Their governors were hierarchically ranked, from the proconsuls of Africa proconsularis and Asia through those governed by consulares and correctors to the praesides. These last were the only ones recruited from the equestrian class. The provinces in turn were grouped into originally twelve dioceses, headed usually by a vicarius, who oversaw their affairs. Only the proconsuls and the urban prefect of Rome and later Constantinople were exempt from this, and were directly subordinated to the tetrarchs. Although the Caesars were soon eliminated from the picture, the four administrative resorts were restored in 318 by Emperor Constantine I, in the form of Praetorian prefectures, whose holders generally rotated frequently, as in the usual magistracies but without a colleague. Constantine also created a new capital, known after him as Constantinople, which was sometimes called New Rome because it became the permanent seat of the government. In Italy itself, Rome had not been the imperial residence for some time and 286 Diocletian formally moved the seat of government to Mediolanum modern Milan, while taking up residence himself in Nicomedia. During the 4th century, the administrative structure was modified several times, including repeated experiments with eastern-western co-emperors. Provinces and dioceses were split to form new ones, the Praetorian prefecture of Illyricum was abolished and reformed. In the end, with the rise of Odoacer in 476 and the death of Julius Nepos in 480, administration of the effectively reduced empire was permanently unified in Constantinople. Detailed information on the arrangements during this period is contained in the Notitia Dignitatum record of offices, a document dating from the early 5th century. Most data is drawn from this authentic imperial source, as the names of the areas governed and titles of the governors are given there. There are however debates about the source of some data recorded in the Notitia, and it seems clear that some of its own sources are earlier than others. It is interesting to compare this with the list of military territories under the Duches, in charge of border garrisons on so-called limites, and the higher-ranking Comites re militaris, with more mobile forces, and the later, even higher magistri militum. Justinian I made the next great changes in 534–536 by abolishing, in some provinces, the strict separation of civil and military authority that Diocletian had established. This process was continued on a larger scale with the creation of extraordinary exarchates in the 580s and culminated with the adoption of the military theme system in the 640s, which replaced the older administrative arrangements entirely. Some scholars use the reorganization of the empire into themata in this period as one of the demarcations between the dominate and the Byzantine or the later Roman period. As a matter of scholarly convenience, the medieval phase of the Roman Empire is today conventionally referred to as Byzantine, named after the original name of the city that Constantine rebuilt into the new capital of Constantinople. Topic: <laughs> Primary sources for lists of provinces. Topic. Early Roman Empire provinces Germania ca. 100 Geography Ptolemy ca. 140 Topic. Late Roman Empire provinces Laterculus Varanensis ca. 310 Notitia Dignitatum ca. 400-420 Laterculus Polemi Silvi, CA, four hundred thirty Synectimus, CA, five hundred twenty. Topic See also Ancient Geography, Classical Antiquity, Early World Maps, Ecumene, Geography, History of Cartography, History of the Mediterranean Region. 
Roman Italy Latin language Latin spelling and pronunciation List of Greco-Roman geographers List of historical maps Local government ancient Roman Topic References Topic Inline citations Topic Sources referenced Early Imperial Roman Provinces, at Livius.org Pauli Wissowa Lintot, Andrew Imperium Romanum. London, Routledge. Momsen, Theodore The Provinces of the Roman Empire, Two Vols. London, Ares Publishers. Scar, Chris The Eastern Provinces. The Penguin Historical Atlas of Ancient Rome. London, Penguin Books, 74-75. Westermann, Grower Atlas zur Weltgeschichte in German. Lauenstein, Karl The Governance of Rome. Springer. ISBN 90-247-1458-3. External links Map of the Roman Empire Map of the Roman Empire in the year 300